Ladies and fishing freaks and all other outdoor enthusiasts, welcome to the channel. During the time you are watching this video, I will be having uh, brain surgery done and recovering from that whole process. So thank you for tuning in and hopefully I'm okay right now. Now going forward into the future, I think we're going to be doing this style format a little bit more. Where we're going to enter uh, and exit the videos basically in the same area, just uh, just from the, uh, the command base as we're calling it. I uh, thought that'd be a good idea while I can't really move around a whole lot after brain surgery, just being able to talk to the camera. Hopefully, hopefully they don't snip their own wire. And I'll just be able to connect with you guys and talk right here. Uh, but I like being able to set up things uh, before the video and after the video, after the fact where uh, I always kind of get in the moment when I'm out there in the outdoors. I forget to explain some of the things that sometimes are important that I think about uh, later. So this way I can let you guys in on a little bit more information and it's a lot easier for me. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Well, if you're an adventurous like me, you'd be going on a deer hunt with your good buddy Outlaw. Outlaw called me up a long time ago to go on this hunt um, in Indiana, somewhere he'd never hunted before, somewhere I'd never hunted before, but it was very close to a place I lived for five years in, in Kentucky. So. This is Southern Indiana deer hunting. No, I grew up hunting as a child. I used to go all the time with my dad. He would take me out. I'd go to different farms and different ranches and things like that. Uh, and I grew up loving hunting. And once I really got into fishing and started doing that as like a passion and a career, I stopped hunting as much, but it's still, it's still something I really love to do. And it keeps the freezer full, which OSG is super happy about. So doing this, a week before my surgery, getting lost in the woods, getting reconnected to my childhood roots. It was just something I felt was very appropriate and it turned out to be awesome. So without further ado, let's go to the great state of Indiana and check out this hunt with my buddy Outlaw. I see him rolling in the bourbon. Oh yeah, y'all know who it is. Mm-hmm. Hello, buddy. Welcome to the meat wagon, mate. The first stop, a mighty gas station stop in the middle of Colorado. We got honey buns, we got beef jerky, we got coffee. Coffee? We got this, we got Red Bull. We're ready to be unhealthy. Don't tell her, don't tell Justin's wife. <sighs> this is gonna be a very unhealthy chew during this trip. <laughs> yeah. Outlaw's the only human being on earth I've ever seen that can literally just eat he gets 100% like good nutrition from it somehow. It like fuels him right. Like if I eat this, uh, he's a very lucky guy. You want to have the same metabolism system as Outlaw. We're going to be doing a lot of driving through, through Kansas today. Oh, it's going to be beautiful man. Yeah, Just so I, I wore my special shirt. Woo, baby! We're trucking along here. This is, uh, this is my first time behind the wheel of the powerful and infamous bourbon. She feels good. I feel it's only right while I got behind the wheel here. We get some tunes thumping. And it's a traveling song, mate. <laughs> Subscribe right there, the shameless plug right away. Actually guys, you know what? I'll hold that shirt down. Hold it down for me, son. Oh, yeah. Hold it down for me. Uh, I'm wearing the official back Backwoods Badass shirt today in honor of my boy. Yesterday was really uh, really kind of a bland uh, day. That's why we cut it short. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, it wasn't in the best of spirits. Willis was kind of getting the best of me. We'd been on the road for a long time and just didn't really didn't really feel like uh, slapping the camera on my on my face at that moment. But it's a new day and I'm chipper. So let's get on with the adventures. It's been a crazy ride, y'all. We've, we've gone through many depressing towns. It's one of those Monday, rainy, nasty, everyone's in a bad mood, small town, don't mess with us, get out of here kind of deals. Really weird. Way. Very strange, like Twilight Zone. I was backing up, this lady was like, Everyone, everyone. How been dare you back up in front of me? <sighs> it's been bad. 
It's been bad. You know what? Right, we're 55 minutes away from deer camp. I just can't wait to be there already. I'm with you, bro. We just need to get there. We need to tune our bows in. And everything's going to be okay. <laughs> everything's going to be all right. Once you get to deer camp, everything's okay yeah. after that. Oh, there's a thing up there. It's backwoods as it gets, dude. Is this where we're staying right here? <laughs> Good lit. Welcome to deer camp, boys and girls. What does that say? Nutri plot. Nutri plot. Mushy Creek Avenue. There we go. I think we're here. I reckon. Let's go see what we got ourselves into. I know. I gotta say, this is right on par for the beer camps I've been at. I is thought it? we were gonna be staying at those trailers over there. Yeah. We actually have a room. It didn't look like there was any cobwebs or animals living in there, which is good. Just the dead ones on the wall. <laughs> That's good. I, you know it's a deer camp when you got a bunch of dead deer. And they're all big, too. I will say, the deer that are up there on the wall are big. It's You know, we've been preparing for this for a long time, but then we made some last minute adjustments to our bows. The things of YouTube and life held us up a little bit, so we are last minute bow uh, tuning. Yeah. Not ideal. Yeah. Me and Outlaw have done quite a few little uh, hunting and fishing adventures, and uh, there's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of fish freaks out there, a lot of mother truckers out there watch the videos. And uh, I got sent this one video. Um, and I think it's pretty hilarious. So uh, I want you guys to check this out. Watch this. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Outlaw here with another video. <laughs> Let's just get right to it. My jug of the day is don't tread on me. You can go check this guy out on mudjug.com. Let's keep right over to LFG. <laughs> they did the pack. Gig them, gig them eggs. Morning, fishing freaks. We're out here at Outlaw. He's on. He's got the hat. Boat over there, right here. And this morning, you know, we're gonna be catching some white bass. Drinking his coffee. They're schooling like crazy. Knows his baits. That's what I figured. Look at the look at the bass schooling over there. They're everywhere, dude. <laughs> <laughs> There's literally baits on the floor. They're everywhere, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is too good. Oh, that's a large mouth. All right, this is the big fish. Dude, this is this is you and me to a T right here. Oh, look at it. Look at that fish. He has it too. Oh yeah, gave it the sniff, baby. Gave it the sniff. That goes on and on, ladies and gentlemen. That is uh, Will. Love you, brother. Thank you. And I uh, had a very nice ending, by the way. Uh, yeah, hashtag yeah. pray for LFG. Outlaw even teared up. I did. When he Miss saw Outlaw it. Miss Outlaw teared up. I teared up. Miss, Miss Outlaw teared up. I can't show you guys. It's too like emotional. I was like, <laughs> Uh, but anyway, Will, we love you, man. That was uh, that was really cool. Thank you for putting that together. So after that little happy note right there. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's time to go. It's time to go get ready for our hunt in the morning. We will be uh, vlogging the situation. And uh, oh, look, it's Winston Tucker from Favorite Fishing Rods calling right now. Tucker. Oh, here we go. Let's go. It's time to roll. It's time to roll out. Well, we got on the phone with Winston last night. He had a lot of good news. I'll give you guys an update later. Getting ready to do it. This is the first, first little piece of action we're gonna see. We just had some rain come through. It's the afternoon now. It is starting to get cold. The front is coming in. Me and Outlaw are about to go get in the stand. He's off the woods taking a poop right now. He's got a weird bowel schedule, I swear. We just did a, uh, a podcast from inside of the bourbon. We're gonna call it a bourbon cast, a 
I'll probably put that up for you guys as well. You can go check it out at Outlaws Channel too. But um, just talking about our strategy for going on this hunt, we went and walked it with uh, the, the property owner, kind of got a feel for the land, literally, and uh, we saw a lot of scrapes, we saw a lot of rubs. It looked really good, so pretty excited. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I just want to get this done. I brought back the leaf. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling him about our podcast and your weird Did bowel you? schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, he says I got a weird bowel schedule. He he used to not be able to <laughs> for weeks. He's like, oh, man, we had a place. I'm not comfortable here. I can't. Oh, all right, y'all. It's enough talking. It's time to get the bows in our hands, get to walking through these woods. Go get her done. All right, I just made it up into the tree. Look how far up we are. Look at the leaves. Look at the colors. It just looks awesome. It's so different. It's really cool. I'm super excited, guys. I've never hunted anywhere like this in a tree with a bow. I was pissing right here in this creek. He comes over and walks right freaking by me. He looked right at me, didn't care, his mouth was open. Alright, nothing's over for the day. Got dark. We're gonna go beat out of the truck. A minute, it was 31 and then it died. What? Yeah. You think it was a cold? Dude, it was cold. Dude, so did you not get my text about everything that happened? I got this. Dude, yeah, so. <laughs> so, first of all, he texts me. He texts me, dude. And I go, and he's typing, and I go, what? And then my phone died. <laughs> and I was That's like, the worst. What? I was like, are you serious? So I was like, I saw my phone was only 34%, so I tried to warm up my phone. I didn't want to pee like on the leaves, you know? So I was like, I'll just pee in the water. As soon as I zip up my pants, dude, I look up and there's a freaking buck. Like big? Looking right at me. No, he's, I mean, he's a six point, but he's a, you know, he's probably two year old. Just with his mouth open, just tongue out. Just, <sighs> he's looking at me, doesn't care. I'm thinking that. He's about to charge me or something. Like he's looking at me. Dude, that's like rut behavior. I know. How far from you? Five yards. What? Five yards. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Did you have your GoPro on your hat? I, I didn't have it rolling, dude. <laughs> I literally just zipped up and he was he was there in the creek with me. Oh. Like four steps, I could have reached out and grabbed him. I thought he was gonna take off. You know, normally if a deer, you startle him, and it's like, Tch -tch. no, he was like, what's up? Just kept going.
just got a text from Outlaw. He thinks he hit a big deer. So I'm going to go try to help him. It's been about 30 minutes. And uh, we're going to go try to find his arrow, see if we can get some blood. Is that where you shot him? Where'd you shoot him? saw that pack of five go yeah. by me and he ran all the way up here and then he came out here and he stood there i'm like making sure i'm on so i range him he's at 37 and uh so i put my freaking pin on 35 because i knew i was decent at 30 so i put him on 35 and i kind of aimed towards the middle and i was like i think this should be good here No way. Dude. It looks like it freaking hits him it's so close. Just right under his chest? Literally, r I'm talking within an inch, dude. The buck's right here. Okay, see him. Let's go frame by frame, watching the arrow. There goes the arrow, right? I see him, yeah. Right here? Oh my gosh, it's right on line. Oh my gosh, dude. Inches. <laughs> like you probably got hair. <laughs> oh man. He didn't duck or anything, which usually I account for. See, when you watch it back, dude, it looks like it hit the damn deer. We gotta figure out the audio that played in slow motion, okay. man. Dude. Dude, do you know how heartbreaking this is? It's one thing to miss, but when... Look at him right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. He was right here at like 10 yards. That's where he just, he just ran off and he's coming yeah. back? Dude, you can see my freaking... You can see the heat coming off my body. Yeah, you can see the steam. You're doing all your checks right now? Mm -hmm. Like right now I'm getting it. I'm like, okay, where's he going to come? There he is. There he jets out. Ah. I know it's disappointing when you miss a deer, especially when you're that close. Outlaw had a, it was a good shot. The deer, I've never seen a deer actually skirt an arrow uh, upward. You know, normally they duck. That deer just went, skirt, skirt, skirt. I think we're just gonna have to get back after it, man. Use a new arrow. See if we can get her done. Get back in the it's saddle. It's still chilly. I mean, the bucks, guys, they, they are moving late. I think we're going to end this video right here, Fishing Freaks, since we've had, uh, we've had some action, but we haven't had success yet, and we've got, I think, I think today is going to be one of our best days, maybe tomorrow morning. It's been cold, so we're going to have more action coming at you. Make sure to go and subscribe to my boy Outlaw, and obviously you know what's coming next, hopefully a deer.
Maybe we're gonna strap it to the front of the outlaw bourbon on the way home back to Tejas. I know you've been lost out there on the internet, but I'm glad you made your way home here to the LFG Fishing TV channel. If you want to subscribe right here for more videos to make it real easy for you, it's free. You just click that little button right over there. And if you want to check out more awesome adventures and other vlog content, videos are right here. There's plenty more. Explore the good library, and we'll see you on the